Hi, my name is Carrie Sant, and I'm an assistant professor of environmental health at San Diego State University in the School of Public Health. I'm here today to present to you my research called the assessment of water contamination in the Tijuana River. The Tijuana River is a binational watershed that flows from within Tijuana, Baja California and Mexico into the cities of San Ysidro and Imperial Beach, California. This issue has been gaining pretty national attention for numerous decades now due to the fact that this is considered highly contaminated water and leads to beach closures every time it rains. This is due largely to inadequate infrastructure for sewage, as well as a large percentage of urban runoff every time during uh, rainy events. This is potentially a public health issue because the area that's uh, directly adjacent to the border, the U.S. side, uh, is a mixed land use area. There's recreational, agricultural, commercial, and residential zones directly adjacent to the border, as well as military training facilities. So it's a dynamic region for human use and water quality is very important. On the right, you can see uh, an image that we took during sampling one day. Every time it rains, a large amount of sedimentation occurs where sand, debris, bacteria, chemicals, trash, all sorts of contaminants flow across and deposit into this very vibrant watershed. So the goal of this study is to assess whether the contamination in the Tijuana River may disproportionately contribute to adverse health outcomes in the South Bay communities. And we're looking specifically for chemical and microbiological agents. So we began this study uh, right before COVID last season, and we've been collecting storm samples during these rainy seasons, and we collected a few during the summer uh, to be able to capture the water that's flowing transnationally. Uh, so far, we've measured the non-targeted chemicals from our uh, transborder water samples, and we're in the process of collecting or finishing our data analysis for metagenomics to identify all of the bacterial species that are within the water as well as microplastics to look at the potential ecological burdens from all of the trash that does come across. Um, and to share some of our early data, this data has been suggesting a, a pretty large uh, amount of industrial and agricultural chemicals as can be expected from urban runoff. Uh, but one of the more uh, stark findings has been the uh, large uh, concentration of pharmaceutical agents that has also been within the watershed. So as this is flowing into the United States, even though this isn't a source of drinking water, this is going out onto the beach, which people use recreationally um, and may also become aerosolized uh, for the local community. So future health studies will have to expand upon this to identify what the uh, concentrations of human exposures are to these contaminants. Really quickly, I'd just like to uh, acknowledge my team that's uh, been helping with this research and my sources of funding, especially the San Diego State Health Link Center. Thank you very much for your time.